Hi, and welcome to Headspace. I'm Dr. Sahar Youssef. I'm a cognitive neuroscientist and a professor at UC Berkeley's Haas School of Business. Today, I'll be talking about how burnout uniquely impacts the brain and the body, and why it's such a prevalent modern challenge. I'll teach you how to spot the signs, as well as ways you can actively prevent burnout, so you can bring your refreshed self to work and feel more present in your everyday life. Let's dive right in. Burnout is a very real condition that can cause immense mental and physiological damage. So much so that in 2019, the World Health Organization decided to officially include burnout as an occupational syndrome. So what exactly is burnout? In the 1970s, UC Berkeley psychology professor, Dr. Christina Maslach, popularized the term by studying healthcare and service workers. Burnout, she said, consists of three core elements. One, profound emotional exhaustion. Two, generalized negativity, also called cynicism. And three, feelings of professional inefficacy. Not actual professional inefficacy, but feelings of it. Let's say you decide that something is in fact stressful, whether it's an approaching deadline or an email from your boss, your amygdala gets activated. The amygdala is a walnut-sized area in the center of the human brain that's considered the fear and anxiety center. We all have an amygdala, this panic alarm that goes off when you need to fight, flee, or deal with a threat. That's how we've traditionally experienced stress, in what are called short and complete cycles. We panic and then calm down. Now, think about what modern day stressors look like for us. You might wake up in the morning and the first thing that you see is an email from your manager, but you don't have time to deal with it because you have to jump into your first meeting. And in that meeting, you get delegated a task you didn't anticipate and you can't get to it because now you have to go into your next meeting. Little by little, you accumulate these upticks in cortisol throughout the day, which is why burnout is like death by a thousand paper cuts. These uncompleted stress cycles just continue to accumulate for days and weeks on end. So is burnout reversible? Thankfully, yes, but it can take months to undo. Here's how you can get started. A highly effective research-backed framework for avoiding burnout is called the 3M framework. It involves actively taking three types of breaks, macro breaks, meso breaks, and micro breaks in order to fully disengage from work stress and restore your energy. First is macro breaks, which means every month you need to be taking a half to a full day off. Second is meso breaks, which is taking one to two hours off every week. And lastly, micro breaks, or resting for a few minutes several times every day. And when I say break, I'm not talking about just kicking back and scrolling on your phone or sending a quick email. By break, I mean true psychological detachment from work, like the mental equivalent of I am relaxing on a beach in Hawaii and I'm not even reachable by my friends or near my phone. Disconnecting from the world for a little bit doesn't make you a bad employee, spouse, or parent. You need to carve out these chunks of time to send the message to your brain that no matter what chaos is going on, you're still here and you're doing fine. And work isn't everything. For your monthly macro breaks, consider taking a day to go out into nature, go on a nice local hike or a day trip exploring someplace new. For mezzo breaks, spend a few hours each week practicing a hobby, playing a sport, cooking a special meal, or just getting out of your regular environment and breaking out of your work routine to fully refresh and recharge. You also need to have sacred silence and space every day. For your micro breaks, even if it's just for a couple of minutes, close your eyes, give yourself a head massage, and focus on taking some deep breaths. Other low lift micro breaks can be going for a quick walk, stretching, taking a shower. Have the water run over your head and feel yourself let go of everything. Or meditate. Meditation has been scientifically shown to be one of the only things that can help decrease that frontal cortex atrophy that comes with aging. Now more than ever, it's so important to remind ourselves as much as we can that we exist outside of the context of our companies. 
If you follow the 3M framework and incorporate mindful breaks into your life each month, week, and day, you'll be able to complete all of those stress cycles and prevent burnout. I'm Dr. Sahar Youssef, and thank you very much for watching. If you have any focus questions, please send them over to askafocusexpert at headspace.com and we'll do our best to answer it in a future video.